It's YouTube Wednesday! I have some regular upholstery foam, um, with it, which is a half inch thick. And I highly recommend you get this from an upholstery supply store. I can get a huge roll of this for like 50 bucks, which is enough for costumes and all kinds of projects all throughout the year. Or I can spend that same amount of money and get one tenth the amount at a fabric store. Go to an upholstery supply shop. So you guys have seen these before. This is one of the uh, super sharp razor blades that I use for almost all of my foam work. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out these gingerbread men. And I have my two halves. I'm gonna do a wire frame inside of here, and then I'm gonna glue the two halves together so that I can make one gingerbread man with a flexible skeleton so that I can change what he does and how he looks, and uh, I can have them doing fun action stuff. Let me go grab some wire. Even better than wire, I grabbed some plumber strap. Because plumber strap is nice and wide, it'll glue down easier, and it won't want to move around as much inside the gingerbread skin. I will round these corners off so that I'm not going to have anything pokey or razor bladey inside of the cookie. Okay, I want you to note here that uh, I left a little tab sticking out here in the crotch and that's so I'll be able to wire him to something in order for him to be displayed. Um, I, you could also do extra lengths out the end of the foot or one foot and that way you could bend that tab over and screw it down. That's one of the reasons why I think this plumber strap is uh, going to be superior to uh, any wire that I would have done. I have little screw points if I just, if I want, want, you know, him like climbing the wall, you can always, you know, screw that in and then bend his whole body over so his hand hides the screw and you can't tell what's holding him onto the wall. I think that's a really good way to go with these guys. So while this is one of many, it's a prototype uh, for my guys to recreate, uh, I think this is the way to go. Just going to use some spray adhesive. Almost always Super 77. I'm using High Strength 90. Very similar. I find it works a little bit better than Super 77 on foam rubber, but use the Super 77, no problem. Okay, I'm going to do two coats of adhesive on each one. And you want to let them sit for a bit to get tacky before you just put them right together. I'm going to give it about 30 to 45 seconds. Okay, it's important to note that I would use brads to hold these together, the little brass tacks that you put in the holes and bend them over, and I could use them in these two points. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now on this one, I'm just kind of proving my concept. And I know that that is going to be, I know it's going to work, so I'm not worried about that part of it. So now I have a sandwiched gingerbread man that I will take to the sander and uh, smooth out some of these issues that I have. 
Uh, there's my little tab that I can screw him to the wall with so he's leaning over and his arms are bendable. I'm not going to bend them right now because I want to be able to sand him while he's nice and flat. So let's head to the sander. nice and cleaned up that seam is less noticeable and uh, I'm gonna move on to decorating here's my gingerbread cookie I'm just gonna give it a little bit of paint uh, I'm just using a uh, it's a nutmeg color from Rust-Oleum 2x do some details on him I'm gonna use some just some latex silicone caulk and a caulking gun caulking guns have a little hole right here that helps you cut the tip off of your caulking gun I wanted a very small hole so I only did a little bit and then they also have right here a little bayonet feature which you use to put down in that hole I made my hole really small again in order to break the seal that's in there. If you don't break the seal, it could back up and come out of this end. Okay, I now have material and I can decorate. As simple as that, I have one angry gingerbread man. Now you can put fake candies on there, or you can do, you know, you can use another color like black icing or something on him, but for the simplest version, that's great. And I have a tab to secure him. Again, I could do that in the feet. I could do that coming off of one of the hands so that he's climbing up on the wall, but he's gonna be fully posable. So I'll be able to use him um, I'll make a bunch of them and they'll be uh, killing somebody here at dark hour. Swing by the show if you can to check it out. Scary gingerbread man. Or if you want, change it up and make him not scary. It's up to you. But uh, you're going to see some Christmas holiday stuff from me because I'm working on a holiday show right now. So here he is. And uh, he can... Uh, you know, I, we can bend his arms any way we want. Uh, if I want to stand him, you know, bend his legs. If I had that sticking out, I could screw him down. But he is posable. And, you know, he is, put a little knife in his hand, that'd be fun. Uh, but, you know, make a, I'm gonna make a little army of these guys. And I'll have uh, some scurry gingerbread men that uh, I can, well, he's not a thousand percent dry, but he is drier, dry enough for me to show you that they're poseable and they're fun. And uh, now we make about 50 of these little boogers. You, go make stuff. <laughs>